So perhaps not the most exciting video today, but I did want to talk about uh, stopping over-the-air updates. And for this example, I'm going to be using my um, LG watch, the Urbane, the Bass, or Bass, depending on how you want to say it. Um, one of the things that you'll run into a lot when you're using stock ROMs is they will have some sort of update mechanism and this update mechanism will give you all sorts of grief if you don't want to get upgraded for instance if you have a phone that you've been working on uh, and you want to keep it from progressing to the next version of Android because in that next version you no longer can um, you know do some of the things you need to do maybe root doesn't work in that version or perhaps uh, you know um, if you upgrade to that version it will lock the bootloader and then you won't be able to make your own custom ROMs or use your own custom recoveries so very uh, very important thing to be able to stop is how do you stop it from updating without just having to clear the um, you know the uh, I guess the pop-ups that show up sometimes depending on your phone or watch manufacturer you won't have a choice it'll just automatically do the updates and upgrades now there's several different packages and uh, files that work with this and I just want to show you the simplest way because I believe since lollipop and on this method works I believe on every phone or smartwatch and uh, it may or may not clear the pop-up that tells you to upgrade but it will definitely prevent the upgrade from actually happening and so what we have here is we have uh, my Urbane it's sitting on the charging dock so I can talk to it through ADB we're going to ADB shell and of course uh, to do this you need to be rooted so you have to be the super user and one of the first things that you need to do is to uh, mount and you can just say mount to check mount and we're gonna mount grep which means I just want to see a certain thing system and so we have our system uh, system folder there so what you can do is mount dash options remount comma read write system so now if we type our mount grep system we see that the system is now not read only but read write -able. so now you can actually change things and edit them so if we go to our system folder we see we're in system we say ls um, there's lots of different uh, you know things in here to uh, look at but what we're looking for, and if you're not sure where it is, you can always use the find. Um, in this case, we know that it's in ETC. Uh, but a good way to look for it, it would be to find everything and then grep OTA. And we see this, uh, this folder is security. So CD into security. Whoops, security and uh, we see if we list all the contents we have OTA certs dot back dot zip and that's because I've already changed this one on here um, and but normally this will say OTA certs dot zip and this OTA certs dot zip file is used to check the new incoming update against what you have to make sure that it's the right one for your device and if it's not it won't let you install it and so it's very very simple and easy way to do this is just to rename it so you can say move and in this case I've already moved it it used to be OTA search.zip and I named it OTA search back.zip now it's going to give me an error right now because the OTA search.zip doesn't exist right now because I've already renamed it but by doing that now when it tries to check to see hey I'm gonna go look for an update and uh, see uh, what I can get and it says what's my certifications for my device 
and I'm going to check that against all the available updates that are over the air for this device and it says hey I can't find this device on the list so there must not be any updates for me and then it doesn't try to update and in this case for instance on the Urbane it does not even pop up to tell me that there's any updates available because it checked for updates it didn't find anything that matches its certifications because it doesn't have any certifications and then it uh, it moves on and so there's no pop-up there's nothing that tells you uh, that you're going to have to upgrade um, and that's how it works on the urbane and this, this particular version uh, but this OTA certs dot zip file should exist for everything lollipop and newer uh, as far as I know up through Oreo I have not checked in Pi but I imagine they use the same system there as well so literally just disabling that will um, will stop you from being updated now if you're still getting a pop-up that says you need to update on your device whether it's on your smartwatch or whether it's on your phone typically that's handled by a um, APK called FOTA and so that does not exist on the smartwatch okay but if it did exist on your phone an easy way to do that would be to find and you're gonna look everywhere um, or you could say in system because you know that it is in system somewhere and uh, you're gonna grep or look for focus on and you can say photo right and it's something over the air I'm guessing for over the air or find over the air package um, in this case like I said it does not exist on the smartwatch it uses a different method of doing that that's somewhere in the framework um, but most of your phones uh, in like lollipop marshmallow and I think nugget they'll use um, FOTA uh, an, AP, an app based off of that and so you just find that app and again you could change it from APK to back like this one is and then it won't be able to run that or you can use uh, if you have root permissions already and you have installed certain other applications that allow you to freeze an app so it doesn't do anything but it still exists you can do that as well so uh, a couple options that you have there but in I'm almost positive in every case from Lollipop through Oreo for sure you can just disable this OTA certs dot zip file by renaming it to something else and it will not force you to do an upgrade because it won't be able to accept one now if you've already downloaded the upgrade it may try to take that so you should wipe your cache and then delete this OTA certs dot back dot zip or rename this OTA certs dot back dot zip so that way it won't try to grab a new one and download that um, and like I said good reasons to do this is if you're concerned about upgrading either maybe you've read online and everybody's saying hey I did the upgrade and everything broke and it doesn't work very good or I don't like it uh, this is a good way to stop that or if you know that hey the new upgrade they're gonna lock the bootloader and uh, you know I don't want to do that but also by renaming it to back.zip you can always change it back and rename it back to OTA certs dot zip and then it will work again so it's a good way if you know an upgrade is coming or if you just want to make sure when the upgrade comes that you're not the first one to get it so that way everyone else can you know cry and have the pain of, uh, of all the things that didn't work you can always just rename this OTA certs to back.zip let everyone else go through the upgrade see if it's okay or not and then join them in the upgrade by renaming it to OTA certs dot zip again so just a couple things to consider uh, if you're uh, working with Android this is something you'll probably run into quite a bit